now on High Tide. How can he do this to Judy? Looks like he's doing it to everybody but Judy. This is my car. Y you gotta be kidding me. I love your car. Thank you. She had this funky necklace cascading down her. Oh, Joey, you are the greatest. But come on, pull over. <laughs> the car was stolen? Where's my car? are fairly simple to figure out. You take what's most important to you and you put it at the top of the list. Everything else falls beneath it. Hey, I really appreciate you guys helping out. I know this isn't your type of case. No problem. Any friend of yours is a friend of ours. What makes Judy think her husband's cheating on her? Because he's a louse. And she found a long red hair on his coat. A redhead? Hmm. She ever actually seen him with another woman? No. Hey, Joey, try and save some film for the actual stakeout, huh? Good. Good. How about you? You ever seen him with another woman? Nuh-uh. I, I never met the guy. Hey, throw him up. Thanks, Louise. Very nice. Car. Nice car. Excuse me. What are you doing? Uh, not that we mind. I'm sorry. I guess I got carried away. I love your car. Thank you. How about a ride? No, we were just leaving. Sorry. Sure. Of course. Man, are you nuts? Hey, I didn't like the way she was leaning all over my car. Me either. I did. All right. Good luck, guys. Thanks. Yep, I had my priorities all right. Joey, please, you're gonna drop it in the car. Hmm? Hmm. Relax, bro. Been eating these since I was a kid. There isn't one that's gotten away from me yet. There he is. Day. Go grab a soda. Hey, get me another burrito, will you? 
It's a Chinese restaurant. Give me a Chinese burrito. You know, mushu, a little extra plum sauce. Hike. Sorry to hear about the Mustang. Yeah. I'll be driving and rent. I can call Judy and have her hire someone else. If no, you no, want. no, no. I made the commitment. Uh, and besides, you know, I really want to catch this creep. Thanks. She said his credit card statement had a rather large bill from the Bayside Inn. So I called and asked to speak with him. But the front desk said they didn't expect him until 11. Hey, that's good investigation work. You. you ever thought of, uh, you know, changing careers? No way. Go through what you and Joey go through? No, thank you. Hey. <laughs> Got any ice cream? <laughs> Very funny. Where's Mick? Staking out Michaels. What? Without me? Oh, man, he's driving the one stupid fruit cart. What's he driving? A rental. What? Mick driving a car from this decade? <laughs> man, that's good. That'd be pretty. Joey, what are you doing? I'm taking the car up to the body shop to get the scratches buffed out and painted. Bad idea. What? It's just up the street. Nothing's gonna happen. Bad idea. Hi. Hot car. 1966, right? Yeah, you know your cars. I know a lot of things. Wow, this is really cool. I'd love to go for a spin. Well, actually, I was just, uh... Heading out somewhere? Hmm. Oh. Well... She sure is a beauty. Well, it's not like I'm in any sort of uh, hurry.
blonde. Listen, I hope you don't mind, but I, I should get back. No, I, I understand. You're not... No, never mind. <laughs> what? Well, you're not, like, brushing me off, are you? Oh, no, no, I... I well, we can get together later, you know? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be great. <laughs> You know, I thought about buying a car just like this once. I just didn't think I could handle it. Are you kidding? This baby handles like a dream. You gotta try one sometime. You would do that for me? Do what? Let me drive it. Oh, that. Oh, Joey, you are the greatest. Now, come on, pull over. <laughs> You do know how to drive, right? Of course I do. Now come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Hey, stop! Hey, no! Hey, come back! Oh. Oh, I'm a dead man. Wait a minute, that's not a redhead, Mick. Hey. Oh, that creep, that, that louse, that, that loser. I know. Uh, hey, where are you going? I'm gonna give Judy the photos of her husband with the blonde. No, 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 you can't do that. Why not? She's prepared for the redhead, Mick. Let's not make this any more difficult on her than it already is. <sighs> hey! Where's my car? Hey, Mick, how's it going? Hey, I came home and my car was gone. Where is it? Didn't you tell him? Uh, sorry, I was caught up in the photos. Oh, you got a picture of the redhead. Great. No. No. And don't change the subject. Man, I wouldn't do that. Where's my car? I took it to the shop to get it painted, like I said. I mean, you wouldn't want to let a car like that sit around with the paint scratched off. The salt air would, would rust through it like that. And you don't want to use it for this case anyway, because the, the, you saw what happened. And uh, you got a rental car anyway, so what's the big deal? How do you know? Know what? That I got a rental car. That's right. What's right? You got a rental car. I know. How do you know? Because Patty told me. Jeez, this case is getting to you, Mick. Men, Caitlin, you have to learn to use your strengths. I don't know why you make such a big deal out of it. I don't know, Dana. I'm just not good at that sort of thing, being flirty. Flirty? Hell, honey, you have to do is smile at them when they're hooked. I'm gonna go wash this crud off my face, and I'll meet you back at the shop. The car was stolen? Patty, shush. The car was stolen? Bad idea. Sound familiar? Patty. You're dead. I need your help. I don't know, Joey. I'm not exactly trained to go after car thieves. We're talking about my life here, OK? I'll make it worth your while. Really? How? I'll give you my take of the Michaels case. What else? What else? Well, I am going out on a limb here. I'll give you 20% off everything in the store. And 
and you take care of inventory for the next month. What? Forget it. Never mind. Deal's off. Okay. I'll split it with you. Two weeks of inventory. Make it 40% off and you got yourself a deal. I'll get you for this. See, you wouldn't get that with the Mustang. It's a convertible. You don't need it. When's the Mustang going to be ready, anyway? Um, well, I told the shop to take their time with it. After all, it is a mid-66. Yeah, it's more than that. Yeah. You know, I remember when I was seven years old, I went with Mom and Dad to pick out their new car. It's the first time I saw the Mustang. <laughs> Man, I fell in love. Of course, it was too impractical and probably way too expensive. <laughs> we ended up with a Nova. But I never forgot that Mustang. I knew one day I'd own it. You know what? I love that car now as much as I did when I was seven years old. Great. Sentimental value. This guy should write a book. Holy cow. That creep, that pig, that disgusting... Dirtbag? How can he do this to Judy? Looks like he's doing it to everybody but Judy. You gotta get a photo of him with that redhead. Well, I'm beginning to think he doesn't have time for the redhead. If I have to put on a red wig and hit on him myself just to get that photo, I will. Okay, we'll get the damn redhead. Yeesh. You coming? No, I got, uh, inventory. What? You know, inventory. I, I gotta count stuff. Busy, busy. Did you talk to the insurance companies? Yeah, but get a load of this. I called the cops and... You what? What are you nuts? Mick knows everybody on the force. Will you relax? I told them I was doing research for an article on car thefts in the area. So was she gorgeous? What made you think it was a she? Well, most of the cars stolen were reported to the insurance companies and not the cops. So? So the two who went to the cops were single. The ones who went to the insurance companies were married. I think someone thought they were going to get lucky. Pretty good. Now, what'd she look like? Um, jet black hair, blue eyes. She had this funky necklace cascading down her. I, I get the picture. It was the shape of the sun, and it looked like it was handmade. Hey, you know, I, I think I've seen something like that on the boardwalk. I need a driver's license and your car keys to hang on to. It's just for security. Free to go. Enjoy. It's the Red Jag. Copy of each, please. It's the Red Jag. He couldn't possibly know. I'll be in the back. Hey, this is it. No. Yes, this is this is this is it right here. Good choice. That's one of my best sellers. Oh, actually, we're looking for a woman who was wearing one of these. 
Every other girl on the beach has one of these. Hell, they bought five at the bike shop alone. You're a doll. <laughs> Biker skates. Hey, I know you. I was hoping you wouldn't remember. You must think I'm weird. No, 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 no. Everyone seems to love that car. Oh. <laughs> Excuse us. She's wearing the necklace. Is that her? Don't you think I'd know who the person was if I was staring her straight in the face? So anyway, uh, we're looking for this woman that I met yesterday. I didn't get her name, but she was wearing a necklace exactly like yours. Could be anyone. Oh, well, now let's see. She had long black hair, blue eyes, about... Sorry. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, see you later. Oh, uh, just so I'm not in the same predicament next time, uh, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. See you around, Caitlin. Really, Joey? Do you have to flirt with everyone? I'm just being friendly. Scare them off. You know the routine. Yes, I do. We've been at this all day, Joey. My feet are killing me. I can't go home empty-handed. Mick will know something's up. You know, maybe you should just tell him. I mean, after all, it's only a car. Even you don't believe that. I'll stand by you, if that'll help. Thanks, Patty. I'm not ready to face him yet. My Jeep. You're still up. Yeah, it's uh, seven o'clock. Well, I'm bushed. Night. Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did everybody forget about the Michaels case here? Right, right. Oh, of course. <sighs> okay. What's going on? <laughs> Mick, what's it look like is going on? This guy. <laughs> Joey. What are you two up to? 
What do you mean? What I mean is, why was the shop closed when I came home? Huh? And why is it taking so long to fix a few scratches on my car? And where did you take it? That creep, that pig, that slime bag. How many women does this walking hormone have? I swear, if I get my hands on him, I'll deck him. Deck him. Good night. Don't you want to at least find out why somebody tried to run us down? Not if it means lending you my Jeep. My insurance doesn't cover theft. Oh, so now you're going to throw that in my face. Well, it didn't take much for you to practically hand over your brother's car, did it? I expect a little more support from you. Yeah, hi, my name is Barrett. Uh, I'm looking for a 1966 green Mustang. Somebody brought it into your shop to be painted? No? All right, thank you. Okay, Joey. But if you lose my Jeep... in this morning. You can't just steal it in broad daylight. Would you get a grip? It's just a simple boost. What are you doing? I seem to misplace my keys. I usually keep a spare in the glove. This is my car. What? This is my car. Y you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I don't believe this. I have one just like this. Oh my god, you must think I'm crazy. <laughs> now, where exactly did I park? <laughs> Well, I suppose I could drive you around, help you look for it. You would do that for me? What? Gloria, honey, <laughs> done already. Who is this woman? Look, I'm really sorry I mistook this for my car. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Can you believe it? She thought this was her car. That was too close. I handled it. I can't do this anymore. I really can't. What, you can't get out? I won't tell anyone about it. I know that, but what are you gonna do for money, huh? I'll stay in debt. Look, you're just panicking, Caitlin. No, I'm past that. I've already given this a lot of thought. Whoa, wait a minute here. Look, you begged me to help you when Larry left you with his debts. I, I took you in like a sister. You can't abandon me now. But you're stronger than me, Dana. You can handle this. I can't. I can't handle the pressure. Caitlin, you can do it. It's the reason I brought you in. It's because I knew I could count on you. And we will always be there for each other. Come on. Let's get out of here.
loaded. Just busy. Busy, busy, busy. Look, I'm not going to leave you alone until you tell me what you and Joey are up to. Oh, Mick, you're being paranoid. Aha! Aha what? Well, you said I'm being paranoid. Which means that whatever you're up to has to do with me, or you wouldn't have attached it to me in such a personal way. Now, what is it? Your car was stolen. Oh. <sighs> what? Your car was... Stolen? My car was stolen? Guess you didn't know I had eyes in the back of my head, huh? I didn't know you had a butt on the front of it either. Think about it. Oh, man. Oh, you got her. Oh, and she's safe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Go talk to this, Caitlin. Uh, actually, I'd like to stay here with my wheels, if you don't mind. That way, if Joey comes back, I can have him wait for you. Right. If it gets ugly, call the cops. Well, well, well. I thought you were a lot smarter than this, Joey. Well, you might find this hard to believe, but uh, I got you right where I want you. What the hell am I supposed to do with him? Kill him. Kill him? Oh, yeah, that's real smart. Let's kill him and be up for murder one. Look, we're going to be just fine as long as we keep our wits about us here, okay? I want to talk to you in private now. You don't have to do this, you know. What? Well, they're going to kill me. I shouldn't be talking to you. Hey, I know you don't want to do this. I have no choice. You mean you have no easy choice? You think I do this because it's easy? I need to make a living. When are you going to grow up? It's not always about money. Some people have sentimental attachment to their cars. Then I'd say they place too much importance on material objects. You again. You know, you really were much cuter in that Mustang. I guess it is a sexy car. Well, maybe you ought to let me hop back in it and bust out of here, huh? For all time's sake. Sorry. You had to come play hero. What can I say? Danger's my middle name. Caitlin, watch him. You're gonna stay back at the car. I'm not going back to the car, Mick. I've thought about it. I've changed my mind. I'm going all the way. Come on. You still got a chance to save yourself. Since when did you become my savior? When you became mine. I'll do everything that I can to help you.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how disappointed I am. You won't shoot me. I don't want to, Caitlin, but I will if you force me to. I'm stunned. In fact, I don't even know quite what to say. Chain her up. Arrange to have everything moved out of here tonight, okay? We're gonna set up on Tucson in the morning. We gotta get out of here now. Joey. Caitlin and her friend. By the time they find them, we'll be long gone. What the hell is that? I, I don't know. Check it out. What's going on here? We started these cars. Look who we have here, Miss Nancy Drew. Why don't you have a seat on the stairs and wait for the cops to arrive, all right? Yeah, sure. Nothing, I'm fine. It's just a souvenir. <sighs> she took off, Mick. I'm sorry. Whoa, hey, yo, come back here. Somebody want to untie us, please, if it's not too much trouble? There's bolt cutters in the toolbox. Second door down. Second door, second door. Good. brother. High Tide will be right back. Hey, Patty, you know, you're pretty good at this detecting thing. Maybe you should consider it. No, thank you. <laughs> Almost getting run down by my own car and whacked in the face. I can take a hit, Nick. This isn't the job for me. I wonder if Caitlin's gonna be okay. Oh, yeah, I think if she agrees to testify against Dana, they'll go easy. Excuse me. I'm Peter Michaels. I was told to meet police here regarding my stolen car. Uh, yeah. Right in there. Oh, thanks. Sure. So you get the photo of him with the redhead, don't uh, I don't understand what these women see in him. Sometimes you go through life thinking you have your priorities all figured out, and then life plays a joke on you. But if you're smart, you'll learn from it. And you'll change your priorities. Joey, drive her home for me, will you? I gotta turn in the rental. You sure? 
Yeah, it's just a car. Next, on High Tide. Tina, you've changed. We all have to grow up, Joey. But you've done it better than most people. Easy, big fella. It's my goddaughter you're talking about. Joey! Tina is missing. She's got this weird gut feeling that this has something to do with her dad. The guy's been dead for years. What? We're here to help. I got Tina into this. It's my responsibility, and I'm going to get her out. That's suicide. Oh, you forget, Meg. I'm already dead. Come on! Let her go, Sanchez! Don't make a move or she's dead. Yeah. Mm. 